stone, 18 stone on the jaw, and you will feel it sooner or later. The defense is quite leaky for a wild punches. You're eager to land. I'll tag you. I'm going to tag you. It's over. I want, I'm not 40 years old like Lewis Ortiz. When I get you going, I will jump on you. I'll get you out of there for sure. And when you start swinging, that's welcome to my world. Christmas come early. Then big swings. I've got the Floyd May of a heavyweight defense. No one can land a swing on me. Nobody from any direction. Help coming round the corner. I see them all coming. So unless you're going to bring something I ain't seen before, which is very unlikely because I've watched all your flights and I know what you do, you look for them big wild punches, then you can't beat me. You haven't got a prayer, really. I can be as sit here and be as humble as I want, but I know for a fact deep down in my soul, it's written in the stars for me to come back and wipe you out in style in America, live on Showtime and live on BT Sport. And everyone's going to say, how did he do that? And I'm going to say, you know what? I told you so. I'm back. Not ever, if I ever say he got me to big time box, Evan is getting I, I, I'm a slapper. Because if well, anybody, if anybody, if anybody, if anybody, if anybody, if anybody to big time box is me. Don't you don't, don't ever forget when I found you, you was you was strung out on coke. When I found you, you was you was like a big house contemplating about killing yourself. So don't you ever forget who brought you to big time box. I drug you back. I brought you back. I provided food and put food on your table for your family to eat. And I'm doing it for the second time. Former WBC champ Sean Porter thinks the Wilder versus Fury 3 is a 50 50 fight. Abdul Mahrez and Buddy McGirt feel the same way. I feel this way. Out of the last 19 rounds, Deontay Wilder won two. He's been outclassed, outboxed. He's just not on Fury's level. And then he got beat up in the last fight. Even though Wilder has that big right hand, you can't throw that punch going backward. But I did agree with Sean Porter when he said Deontay Wilder needs to get more weapons in his arsenal. But does he have enough time to do it? You have Mayweather offered. You had George Foreman offered. I think Buddy McGurch in the sweepstakes now. And then Joe Goosen. Can any of those guys help Wilder? When it comes to Wilder versus Fury part three, I don't think it's a 50-50 fight. I think Tyson Fury steamrolls Deontay Wilder in the rematch. It's not as easy as people think it is to add Arsenal to a 34-year-old fighter who's set in his own ways. I just don't think he's trainable. And for Porter and Marrez to save the 50-50 fight, all that tells me is those PBC checks must be really good. And since Deontay Wilder's devastating loss to Tyson Fury, World Boxing News has put his record under a microscope. And they highlighted 19 of the 39 fighters Deontay faced wasn't even ranked. And the highest ranked fighter he's faced is Stavern. Yet yeah, it is Stavern, not Luis Ortiz. That tells you right there, unlike Anthony Joshua's career, Wilder's career was by design. The biggest question Deontay Wilder has to answer is, is he going to keep the same team or is he going to move on? He got to make this decision very quickly. July is four or five months away. The fight cutoff date is July 18th. I pose this question to you. I think Fury wins the rematch. I think he wins it quicker. But if Deontay Wilder had to pick a trainer that gives him the best chance to win, what trainer should he pick? Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.